Hey guys, welcome. This is Boris Gutierrez. Wanted to make a quick little video to give you an idea of what Pasadena's pre-sale self-certification program is all about. So I will provide a link to this page uh, somewhere on the video. Um, let's get started. To apply for the pre-sale certificate of completion online, you are going to click on this button here. Okay, now this process can be undertaken by the owner of the property or the listing agent representing the property owner. So we are, in this case, applying for a pre-sale certificate of completion in this video, but you could also apply for a pre-sale certificate of inspection if you know your property does not meet all of the um, requirements, in which case they will need to come out and do a physical inspection of the property. So let's select pre-sale certificate of completion. I am going to represent the owner in this case. That's me. We've got a sample property that we're working with here, 430 South Hill Street or Avenue. Do a search for the property. And there's more than one property that meets that. So this is 430 South Hill that we are working with okay so you are going to be asked now five seven questions about fire code and general code requirements okay so let's go through these really quick if a garage is attached to the residence is a self-closing fire rated door provided between the garage and the dwelling yes is a functional opening and closing window provided in each bedroom and a quick release mechanism provided for all barred bedroom windows Yes, it is. Are functional carbon monoxide detectors located at common areas adjacent to bedrooms and at minimum one on each floor, including floors without bedrooms? Yes. Are functional smoke detectors located in each bedroom and common areas adjacent to bedrooms and at minimum one on each floor, including floors with bedrooms? Yes. Is there any unpermitted construction, addition, or enclosed extension to the existing structures located on the property? Example, new bedroom, new bathroom, new family room, extensions to existing rooms. No, there are not. Are there any unpermitted conversions into living area space? Patio enclosure, a garage conversion, attic conversion, basement conversion, etc. An unpermitted conversion would include any of the following. Unpermitted installation of drywall, flammable flooring, plumbing, and electrical. No. Are there any unpermitted enclosed accessory structures larger than 120 square feet, such as a garage, a pool house, or a large shed? No. Okay, let's go to the next step. Okay, we are being asked here if our square footage of the property we're inquiring about is the same as what's shown here. Now, what is shown here is what the LA County Assessor's database has as the square footage or the living space for this property, showing 1920, 1,920 square feet here. If the property is larger than that, the city wants to know about that. We are saying here that the property is the same. There have been no changes. And when it was inspected by the owner or the owner's representative, we'll just pick a date when we did that. And then we take the next steps. Okay, so you're going to tell the city that this property is not bank owned. We are dealing with a single family home versus a condo or townhouse. Then you're going to fill in the owner's information here. You're going to fill in the listing agent information here. Then if, they're, if you know the prospective buyer at this point, you're going to fill in that information in, along with the buyer's agent information. You're going to submit this and you should be able to obtain your self-certification from the city pretty much right away. If there is an issue, if you answered any of those other questions in a negative way, the city is going to require an inspection from you. And then you will have to do the uh, that other path I showed you about in earlier. Um, just to make this video short, I'm gonna cut it right here. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Again, it's Boris Gutierrez, and I hope this has been helpful. Thank you.